impose, create, cause. These are the words that matter. So again, I could argue to you, the fact that you like life is your fucking liability and problem. You have no right to assume your child will like it, appreciate it, think it's a gift, think it's all sparkly and wonderful, have any taste for your white bread and mayonnaise, and resent you, and have a right to put negative points in your column in terms of your productivity for having the arrogance and the obnoxiousness to think you had a right to force them along. That's the real issue in question. That's what makes this consequential <laughs> is the very fact that when implemented, yeah, now you're responsible for what you impose. And over time, we know that there will be victims. So again, I go back to my thought experiment that if you're throwing a party and there's a thousand guests and four of them get horribly raped, is that an acceptable price for your fucking joyride? For your fucking party? Huh? Answer the fucking question. How many victims, how high do I have to make the victim number before you say you don't have a right to throw parties anymore? That's the fucking question. So evade that and keep talking this yon yon chatter chatter as if value can't be ascertained, as if comfort can't be ascertained in some rational matter, and as if we can't have some rational conversation about value equations like, well, should we really spend $500 million on a fireworks display? What, what kind of preposterous waste of resources should we indulge in? I think those are perfectly legitimate elements to this issue and perfectly legitimate questions of qualification to bring up in terms of you know, what value are these organisms? Quite clearly, they squander suffering. They laugh at it and mock it, in a sense, by wasting money on stupid parades and all this other crap, while a few people will freeze to death on their streets right in front of them, and where millions of people will be subjected to insanely stupid horrors for lack of 59 cents. And so this is the context of this bullshit endeavor of these assholes talking about their freedom and their pursuit of happiness and all their other fucking presumed rights. As long as those rights only apply to what they do to themselves, then I'd say go ahead, fuck yourself in the ass as hard as you want forever, asshole. Okay, but when you're fucking somebody else, that's where you cross the fucking line. And that's what you do when you pro creation. <laughs> so fuck you. We always are going to have these conversations about ethics. There's ethics in that world. Reality. Out there. There's no social contract. All there is, is a practical equation. Alright? We have the power now. We decide whether Tyrannosaurus exists or not. We can press a button. And it exists. We press another button. It doesn't. And that's on us to do the math. To figure it out. Because the fact is, there's a consequence, and we can assess it.